what's up you guys this is Rafa McGay guy plays and today on hashtag confirmed we are digging into primetime 193 as well as some documents that DE has kindly sent over regarding the four new augments for Titania, Nidus, Harrow, and Equinox. Um, now I do kind of want to give you guys a little bit of a heads up before we actually jump in and chat about all these things number one because augments do take up a mod slot I actually went through and took a look at um, all of the different builds that I have for these Warframes, like the builds that kind of pertain to uh, these different augments. And I was like, do they fit? And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm very happy because some of them might just find a home um, into some of my builds. But the second thing that I wanted to bring up is yes, we do have placeholder stats. So none of these stats are actually set in stone. In fact, there is one augment here that was sent to us as a doc, and then when they discussed it on prime time, and I, when I took a look at the mod on the screen, it had actually already been altered. So do keep in mind that these statistics are subject to change. If you guys feel very, very passionately that a change does need to be made to some of these augments, please feel free to speak on that in the forums. Cause they ain't checking for your shit here in my video, and I got way too many things to do to send it on over to them, unless I feel like it's extremely important. I am gonna I'm gonna give my own suggestions in this video as well because there's a couple things I'm like eh, maybe you could tweak that just a little bit um, so I figured we could go ahead and just jump right on into the fairy queen herself miss Titania now she's got a new razor wing augment casting abilities while in a razor wing increases flight speed by 25% fire rate by 25% for eight seconds and stacks up to four times all right so this instantaneously I was like Y'all know I hate having an excess of movement speed, so I'm already kind of a little bit angry at this mod. I'm like, I want, well, I, I get it. It's nice because you do get to fly a little bit faster and out in the planes. I guess that would help because you could definitely tag a couple enemies with your abilities um, to get that boost and then just kind of like fly along the plane super fast. So for any of you speedsters out there, this is going to be great for you. However, the fire rate is what I'm really, really interested in. Um, so number one, it stacks up to four times. So you have the possibility of getting a 100% bonus to movement speed and fire rate. That's pretty gosh darn intense. And I was looking at my build for Titania. So as you guys know, I have a very specific build called the Eat Me build. Um, because it's Eat Me and Drink Me from Alice in Wonderland. One makes you big, one makes you small. Don't think sexually about our fairy queen, okay? Um, but legitimately, I would be losing maybe 15% uh, range and 15% power strength. But I could be gaining baseline 25% movement speed and 25% fire rate up to 100% movement speed and 100% fire rate. And I'm like, oh, I might, I might just want this. This does seem to feel really, really, really good. Um, the only thing that I wish that they would add is increases flight speed and fire rate, but maybe also increases um, uh, ammo regeneration speed. Because if your fire rate is really going up that fast, you're not gonna have any ammo um, off of Titania's off of Titania's augment. You gotta wait for that stuff to regenerate. So great, you have this insane fire rate, but you also want to make sure that you have ammo um, in the drum because it's ammo drum. <laughs> Uh, in order to kind of like compensate for that so she should either gain like bonus like bonus ammo or she should get a faster fire uh, a faster recharge rate when it comes to her ammo I think that would be really really awesome and the fact that it stacks up to four times is pretty cool too I'm just crossing my fingers that this is gonna be affected by duration so that we can get more than just eight seconds out of it. Um, I'm also crossing my fingers that we are going to be uh, seeing this affected by power strength as well, so that we could push ourselves. Listen, I like a little bit. I like a little bit of power strength. Y'all know that I'm not super insane crazy when it comes to like doubling down on power strength, but this this will be nice for her Dexpixia and maybe give her a little bit more recognition than she deserves because she's already a bamf as it is she can already like slay 155s easy this is all kind of like about um giving her a little bit more a little bit more icing on the cake trade in that 15 percent uh range and trade in that 15 percent uh power strength and less give me give me something good to work with uh, so let's see, they actually have de design commentary here. We're looking to enhance Satanya's speed and lethality while in Razor Wing. This is relatively a simple augment that will cater to people who value Titania's DPS potential, plus have mastered her controls. Love it. 
Um, now, next up they've got listed is the Equinox Mend and Maim Augment now. I do want to kind of preface this because this is the most interesting change. This isn't just going to be a Mend and Maim Augment. They're actually adding in a little bit of buff to Mend. So as you guys know, whenever Equinox is out in the field and she turns on uh, Maim in her day form, enemies that move into range actually get slash buffed, right? So something happens when she turns on Maim. However, when she turns on men, kind of nothing happens. So they're actually changing it around a little bit. And this is baseline, okay? So this is not even the augment. We're not even talking about the augment right now. But basically what ends up happening is... Um, well, let me, just, let me just make sure. Let me just make sure. Um, the, what they're going to be doing is every enemy killed in the mend facility is actually going to help regenerate ally shields. So now you have, you know, you have the active effect of maim, which causes enemies to take slash damage. And then you have the, um, you know, initial effect of mend to go ahead and give allies extra shield regeneration whenever you guys score a kill from there. However, the one thing that I did want to put in here is the Mend and Maim Augment, which we're moving on to, okay? So, on cast, the power of Maim is boosted by 200% and Mend by 400%, decaying over 10 seconds. The extra power affects both accumulated health slash damage, as well as the slash proc and shield regen. So, basically, what this is doing, for anybody who's curious, um, this is front-loading both Mend and Maim. So, within this 10-second period, right? Everything that you get is going to be doubled, the efficacy is going to be doubled, but it's going to decay. So you kind of want to get kills real fast, like if you're doing, if you're um, running uh, maim and you're like trying to go through and you really want to like do burst damage as fast as possible, you can go run through, get a couple kills, pop maim, run through, uh, reactivate maim, run through, get a couple more kills, pop maim, before that 10 second um, duration is over. And that way, what ends up happening is you guys can deal a large, um, large amount of damage instead of necessarily having to wait for it, you know what I mean? So you're almost incentivized to activate both Mend and Maim within the first 10 seconds because they get these big, big, um, uh, what do you call this? They get these big, big damage buffs or healing buffs, which I think is actually really, really interesting because that's almost how I play uh, Mend already, is literally I don't turn it on until I, until I feel like we're gonna need it, and then when, when it's needed, uh, when it's needed, I just go ahead and basically pop a couple heads, pop off, uh, pop off men. So I'm not maintaining it that entire time. So that's definitely something that is kind of like, oh, if you want to be like a spot healer, if you want to do that, because you get 400%. With 400% off of um, mend, literally you probably only need to get one kill, maybe just two kills to to heal to spot heal your entire group. So because of the fact that you're getting such a potent burst off of that, I think that's actually a very, very positive um, augment for those people who are running faster missions. Because a lot of the people who run like the longer missions, they want the big explosions, they're probably not going to use this mod. Um, now their design commentary on it is, we're actually changing Mend a bit in the base ability. Okay, this is where they talk about it. When active, it will now also regenerate the shields of allies upon kill. So this augment gets a few extra functionality due to that. Its intention is to have people more actively cast Mend and Maim for greater impact in bursts rather than over time. Exactly what I said. I think it's um I think it's fantastic. This is gonna be something for the Equinox Mames to really play around with, and I think that it's gonna this this Equinox uh, Mend and Maim augment is going to it's gonna facilitate a different type of play. You're not going to go in for longer runs for this. This is more the quick exterminate capture kind of runs for those kind of players who, like, you know what I mean, didn't necessarily feel like they got... They, they want the big bursts of damage, but they don't have to wait for it, basically. Um, so I think that's absolutely fantastic. Something to definitely play around with. We'll see how it kind of in, it, it affects the gameplay. Now, the Harrow Pack Augment. This one I'm kind of scared for. We'll see how this goes. Because I do, I can see some positives in here. Um, I can see some positives in here, but I can also... I feel, I feel the pain. I feel the pain too. Alright? 
Uh, Hero's Pact Augment. Headshots increase the duration of the crit buff by 4 seconds, meaning Pact will remain active and cannot be recast to renew the invulnerability period. Let's actually just jump right into their design commentary. This is our most skill-dependent augment to date. This augment is for people who can pull off headshots and feel they value Harrow's DPS potential over his life-saving abilities for crit lovers and headshotters only. So keep this in mind, that's definitely one of the things that you have to keep in mind with Harrow's new augment is the fact that legitimately what you gotta do is you gotta get headshots to keep this alive. So think about this as almost kind of like, um, uh, it's, it's got the same premise of Valkyr's Eternal War. You, for those of you who don't know, Eternal War increases the duration of, um, of Warcry for a couple seconds for each kill. This one specifically though is headshots. So you gotta get headshots. So really the, the strategy for this one is get yourself in a situation where you're getting beat on. Get the biggest crit bonus you can and then go through and start popping off the headshots so that you can keep the head uh so that you can keep the crit effects going and i think it's very very interesting it's like one of those trade-offs do you want to be more offensive do you want to be defensive and i think that that's a big theme that's running through uh with a lot of these uh different augments that we're seeing this round is there's a lot of augments that make you make a choice on your playstyle, not just like oh here do you, would you prefer x y and z this is like completely redefining the way that you play right so this is gonna be a tough one um i've i can see it in my build i can already see where it's gonna fit in one of my builds i think it'll do um, great, especially if you like all of the red crit headshots. Me, personally, I'm a bit more on the defensive end, I'm a bit more on, like, the juggly end, and the buffs are just kind of, like, icing on top of the cake for me. Um, but, for those of you guys out there, because I know I, I have, I have a person in the, that's, that's in the Twitch sub amphitheater, I have one of my Twitch subscribers that's in there that literally, whenever I see Harrow, I see his name. And I'm like, I actually will refer to Hero as this guy's name. And I, I know his obsession with headshots and red crits. So, like, I, I feel like he's, he, you know, it's going to be one of those things that he's going to be happy to hear about. Might be something he plays around with. And I do know that people, like, exist with that playstyle. It's not my own playstyle, but you know what? If you want to go ham, if you want to go get those red crits, that's going to be something for you guys. Um, now, moving along... The, to the last one is the Nidus Larva Augment. Dude, Life for Rio, you got dragged. You got dragged on stream, on, right on prime time. And I'm happy about it, let's tell that. For those of you who don't know, Larva now bursts open upon reactivation, dealing a viral AoE around it for, okay? On the stream, it says 300 damage. It says something different on my sheet here. I am not going to tell you what it says on my sheet here because I do believe that what was on primetime is the most up to date, but it just goes to show that changes can be made, all right? Enemies captured by the larva will suffer a guaranteed viral proc. So it's doing damage in an area of effect, um, and it's also guaranteeing a viral proc to any enemies captured by the larva. So if the larva gets you, your health is going to be half. And then you're gonna take some damage. So that is pretty, you know, that's pretty intense. The design commentary is it's a playstyle change for Nidus uh, in quicker missions where you have less time slash interest in building up your mutation stacks, favoring quicker damage. So the one thing that they did kind of make note about this is number one, it will not add to your stacks. It does not add to your stacks, it's just for sheer damage. That's all. Um, the only thing that I kind of want to say about this is the value. Uh, that they had on stream, I, I I would actually like to see that up because it was 300 damage on stream. I would like to see that just up a little bit and maybe the a AOE range up a little bit as well. I mean, it doesn't have to be up by much, but you guys just give us just give us a little bit of something, just a little bit, a little bit more something because it feels a little bit on the on the the cheap side. I mean, don't get me wrong, you guys play test it and they know they know exactly how it feels. Um, already in game, I haven't gotten to play around with it, and I haven't gotten to see how mods affect this um, mods affect this augment. Uh, but for me personally, I would like to see a little bit, just a little bit more, just, just a little bit more, not not insane amounts more, just a tiny little boof to it. Um, so as you guys know, Nidus, I've always, always, always complained about. I've complained about Nidus, and I all I know that all of the Nidus lovers out there 
are like looking at me like shady they're like get the fuck out of here don't talk about my nidus that way but i've always stated that i only like nidus on escalating missions that's the only place that i really enjoy playing him as because you can build up your stacks there in addition to that because of the fact that you are so um because of the fact that you are so stack dependent on your damage one of the big things about this is literally my pinky gets worn out because I'm mashing that one button over and over and over and over again. I'm like, go, kill, murder, 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 murder. But it's always just smashing one over and over. So at least with the larva augment, it helps you kind of switch up your play style. Because that's the big thing. It's like as you're running through missions, like you don't, at least in my brain, and please don't get angry at me, at least in my brain, I'm like, I am bringing Nidus to no capture. That mission's over in like three minutes tops. You got you you have a speedster in there. You got like a Nuja. You got like a Volt in there. That shit's dead. He's de it's dead. Like literally by the time you load in, they're already capturing his ass and they're on their way out. So Nidus ain't go get nothing from stacks like that. Same thing can go for an exterminate mission. Well, you walk out of the exterminate exterminate mission with like twenty stacks. Twenty stacks if you're fast. So there's really no point to focusing on the stacks if it's not gonna get, um, if it's not gonna, you know, if it's not gonna get you anywhere because of the fact that really the mission's gonna be over so quick that there's no point in building up the stacks. However, um, I, like, I don't know, part of me almost says that DE could make this a little bit more flexible by, by allowing it to, to gain stacks or here's the thing maybe don't allow it to gain stacks but maybe allow it to get a little bit more power from stacks so that it's not just a valuable augment just for like capture and exterminate missions and more for casual play but people may be able to work it in to um the standard nidus play in a different way so that way you know it's, it's so it's not just such a niche mod for one specific play style overall um adding its ability to be affected it, like having an increased efficacy from stacks should allow it to have a little bit more in interplay with other abilities and you know it like it'll give it more use rather than just an ex exurbity or something so that those are just my my feelings about that i don't know about the rest of you guys um and that pretty much concludes all of the different augments that they showed off so first and foremost what i want you guys to do is if you love any of these augments go ahead and toss that in the comments second thing if you have any really like chunky meaty like responses don't put it here like put like a three sentence version here and then put your real version like in the forums because it ain't gonna do shit here tell you that right now um in addition i'm very very curious to see how you guys feel about the changes to mend on equinox because i think that it's absolutely fantastic and the really interesting thing about the this batch of augments is it's definitely play style driven with Titania's, it's casting abilities during Razor Wing. Because I know for me, when I'm in Razor Wing, sometimes I tune out and I don't cast any abilities. I'm just like talking to stream, hey, what's up stream? Like, and they're like, Rob, you didn't cast a single ability in Razor Wing. I was like, that's because they're all dead. That's because they're all dead. Um, but you know, so that's kind of like my, uh, my brain. Equinox is definitely more front end, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off kind of thing for her mended meme. Harrow's is get, get those headshots, boo. We're telling you, you gotta be skilled. And you know what? That's what I love about Harrow. He is a skill intensive frame. If you suck at Warframe, you probably gonna suck at Harrow. So don't say that Harrow sucks. It's you that sucks. Uh, <laughs> and lastly, we have Nidus, where they've really changed him into this burst damage, um, a very, very quick burst damage for like faster type missions. Um, let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. Don't go ape shit crazy. Cause if listen, if you got a good if you got a good suggestion, I'd love to see it in the forums. Because that's the thing. That's that's what where they're gonna look first. So put it there. Um and do me a big favor, don't suggest a completely different augment either, because I know some of y'all. My augment idea would be better. Let me put this and replace this instead, and maybe they're gonna make a totally new augment because I said no. Tweaks to the augments that we got. Okay? Just managing you guys. Just, <laughs> just managing your expectations. Alright? I know some of y'all want to be mechanical superstars. Save that for a different day. Save that for a different augment. They already got these on paper. Alright? And that about does it for me. Um, and as always, love somebody. Hurt nobody. And don't hurt me, Nidus lovers. I know y'all are really like super passionate and shit. Give me a break, okay? 
All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.